One. Hello everyone, my name is Winnete, and I'm uh, presenting Future Link. So basically, the overall vision, and you can argue if this is even theoretically possible, is a universal language for human AI communication that is natural enough for humans to be able to easily speak and write, but it's formal enough to be verified, and it preserves meaning across translation from natural language to the future link. So for historical context, there's been a long-standing idea in math and philosophy to create what Leibniz uh, called the characteristica universalis, which is basically a theoretical language that's capable of expressing any mathematical or philosophical proof. And this dream of mechanical reasoning has been one of the foundational drivers of uh, computer science and formal automata theory. And there's also been multiple attempts to create a universal logical language that kind of bridges uh, theories of ma mathematical logic. Uh, some of the attempts that I draw inspiration from include LogBan. LogBan is a constructed language created for actual speech that is made to be logically precise. So every statement in LogBan can be logically evaluated but they engineered it in a way such that many of the statements that are naturally expressed in natural language are able to be expressed in LogBan. One of the difficulties in learning LogBan is that it has a completely new vocabulary. Um, mathematically, there is Koch, Lean, and Agda, which are programming languages for formal verification. And we also have LLMs, which are taking like an NLP approach to translating between natural language and code. So the idea that I have for FutureLang is to keep natural vocabulary and a truth evaluable structure, uh, but also allow for the formal verification of every statement made in the language and clearly denote explicit logical relationships. So this is like an example of how is brainstorming a transformation that could be done with an ambiguous statement such as the the soup is hot like what does that really mean when we say something like that um there's many ways you could try to formalize this but some of the difficulties you run into is adding unnecessary specificity because like the concept of something being hot is not objective but you can describe it in terms of temperature however in like how we speak naturally um, we do make claims that aren't that specific but the goal like for this language should be that the claim is logically evaluable. So we transform it into a form where you can say that the claim is true or false. Um, the specific subset that I started with to kind of build this proof of concept is mathematical proof notation. So just taking a standard example from introductory analysis to prove that the square root of two is irrational. Yeah, um, I kind of, kind of going to skip slides, but you can see in like how in existing formal theorem provers like Koch and Lean, um, it's it requires uh, like advanced studying to be able to understand the syntax. And the goal with FutureLang is to be able to make it in a way where that anyone can easily. Uh, write these verifiable proofs without necessarily having to study uh, difficult syntax. So the grand vision beyond proofs is to be able to, and this is an idea that I had uh, based off watching some of the talks this past weekend of the cognitive map. Um, if you have this kind of language, you can create a Wikipedia style knowledge base and basically formally verify logical connections between data that you have stored within the cognitive map. The way that it was architected technically for this proof of concept does use an LLM transformer. So it is a prompt that I am passing to Claude to be able to transform statements from natural language to the current implementation of future length syntax, which is still under development. 
and I created a formal parser a proof verifier um, and plan to integrate a knowledge graph eventually. Uh, and here is the demo. I think I shared the slide deck because on the paper I have uh, some of the some of the code that shows the, uh, the formalization. But yeah, so as an example statement, uh, if we wanted to express like every prime ideal of a Boolean algebra is maximal, that's how uh, the future lang translator would transform it to uh, future lang. Um, and then yeah, the implementation details for those who are like interested in how the language itself is actually implemented. Basically, I used TypeScript to start writing the parser and compiler. Anything else, or that's good? Go ahead. Yep. All right, Oscar. <laughs> Judge questions, let's go. Is the goal to look at someone's proof, like let's say you write up a paper and you have a proof of some theorem that you've just created, to then take that, put it into future lang, just with an LLM? and then to doubly verify that it's correct? I guess that is one use case, but the main goal is uh, just, well, it's like an attempt to both make human language more precise and machine language more readable to humans. Principa Mathematica yeah. to come. <laughs> I will say, it's okay. I will, oh, go ahead. No, I was going to ask one thing about sort of have you have you how much have you really looked into sort of the the deep areas of these non-classical languages and the way that they they're learned and that they're learned in very fundamentally different ways. What kinds of non-classical languages? Well, remember the olfactory language thing, where there's sort of an entirely different, let's say, observer paradigm of how you're trying to even understand it. And it's very, it's very hard. There's such a, a distance between your original reference and you know the original semantic value to the new thing. Like, what types of logic, or could we even have sort of a, a middle language that's used to transfer between those things? So I'm just curious if you've thought about that. I had not thought about things from that okay. angle. I don't think okay. I understand enough about. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. <laughs>